Hi everybody, today I am going to do a collective makeup haul for you guys. I have a bunch of drugstore stuff and then some stuff from Ulta and one thing from MAC. Uh, so I'm going to first start off with the nail polishes that I have here. I have a whole bunch. So here we go. These are the three colors that I got. This one is called Orange It Obvious and it is a cream colored bright orange. Um, it's not neon, but it's like pretty close, uh, so that's that one. And then I got Olay Caliente, which is this really bright, again, not neon, but almost neon, red, pink coral, um, really great and bright for the summer. I have worn this one on my fingers, um, and I absolutely love this one. I tried this one out and I love it. And then the next one is Pinkaboo, which I think I might have shown in a favorites video because I've been wearing it so much. It's just this gorgeous sheer pink, like bar, like girly pink color. And then it's got these really pretty fuchsia and blue um, shimmers in it. And it's just really pretty sheer pink color, easy to wear. I think I might have shown these in my favorites video as well. They are Revlon Sparkling and, um, what is this one? Milani Jewel Effects in Gold. So I bought these two to wear together um, because of, what's her name? Belle du Jour NYC had a nail on her blog with these two together, but I'm also wearing Sparkling right now, which is just a pink multi-sized glitter over Orly's Rage, which is a really great rose gold kind of combination. And I've worn this one over white, so I, I find other uses for these. I really do like these. Next, I have two different concealers that I've re recently purchased because it seems that Maybelline has discontinued my HG Holy Grail concealer, the concealer I've been using for years and years. I haven't been using any other concealer and I can't find it anywhere and I think they might have finally discontinued it and that was the Maybelline Mineral Power Concealer. I've showed it in countless um, review videos, um, you know, like favorites videos. It's been in all of my like foundation routines pretty much. Um, it's just been my holy grail concealer and I was like so heartbroken that I can't find it anywhere so I'm trying to replace it. Um, the first, um, what do you call? I can't speak today. <laughs> the first concealer that I purchased to try and replace it was another Maybelline concealer. I figured maybe, you know, I'd have another luck. I'd have luck with another Maybelline concealer, and it was one I hadn't tried. So I tried the Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour Concealer, um, and I don't like this. It is too thick and cakey. Purchased a more expensive concealer. I went and got the Max Select cover up. This is the one that comes in this little squeezy tube. I had used this before and really liked it. I had gotten, I think, a tube of it from um I don't I don't remember where I got a tube of this. I, somebody had given me a tube of this and I did like it, but I still have my other concealer which is cheaper. I think this is like sixteen or seventeen dollars for a tube. You do get a lot in here and it you know, a little goes a long way, but you know, I just kind of didn't want to have to repurchase such an expensive product. But I love this, so I concealer is such an important part of my foundation routine that I'm glad that I found something to replace my Maybelline uh, Mineral Power Concealer. This is pretty much the same. Um, this is a little darker. I don't use this for under my eyes. I have concealer that I use for under eyes. So I wouldn't use this one under my eyes because it is too dark for under my eyes, but it's really great for the rest of my skin. I have it in NW20, and it is the Sonia Kashuk Beautifying Blush in Sunset. Such a pretty color, and totally my kind of color for the spring and summer. This is a really bright, um, peachy, orangey color. Um, it looks really nice on. It, I really do love this. It's fabulous. Last drugstore makeup item, I repurchased my CoverGirl Ultimate Finish Liquid Powder Makeup in 410 Classic Ivory. This is the uh, foundation that I use when I go to work. It's a lighter coverage foundation. If I'm just going out for a few hours and I don't want my full coverage foundation, I use this. Um, 
which I was talking about before, how my, you know, concealer stays the same, but this is my lighter coverage foundation. I use my MAC, um, my MAC, my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus on for, well, my Ophifola coverage, but this is my lighter coverage foundation, um, so I just repurchased that. And then the one makeup item, it's kind of like a combo pack thing that I bought, was from Ulta, and they were having that or I don't know if they're still having it, that 21 Days of Beauty, where they had a bunch of different combo packs, um, you know, like uh, value sets is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and I bought one from Stila, because I don't own any Stila um, cosmetics, and I figured it was a great chance for me to try it. I've always wanted Stila Kitten, but refused to pay $18 for a single shadow, and I was always kind of waiting for them to come out with a kit that I thought was worth the money, and they finally did. Uh, so I picked up the Stila Ladies Who Lunch kit and I think this was like $39 and it came with a whole bunch of stuff. It came with three full size eyeshadows, it came with a liquid um, liner, a smaller tube of mascara and a brush so it was such a great deal. Um, the packaging was kind of cheap, it's kind of this folded up cardboard thing that all the products came with but that's probably why it was um, super affordable because the packaging wasn't you know, anything special. It just came in like a little, some tissue paper it was all wrapped up in, so I can finally throw that out. Uh, so it came, the three full-size eyeshadows that it came with were actually, um, it was Stila's Kitten, which was the one that I was interested in trying, which is just this, um, just buttery, like, Sh nude champagne color, absolutely gorgeous, and I am in love with this. Lives up to the hype, except there is a lot of fallout, but I expected that because a lot of reviews did say that. Uh, then it came with Stila's Puppy, which is a matte, light, neutral brown, and this was the other color that I wanted to try to go along with that kitten color, so I was, I was waiting for a set to come out with these two shadows in it, so this was perfect. And then the last shadow was just kind of like a bonus, and it was twig, which is just this um, deep plummy brown color. I uh, haven't really used this yet, so I can't really say anything about it. It also came with this mascara. Again, I haven't tried this yet. It's the Forever Your Curl, Curl Memory Mascara, so um, it's like a smaller tube, like a deluxe sample size or something like that. So I'll give this a try um, when I finish up the mascara that I'm using. It came with this tiny little um, brush. It's the Stila Number no. 7 brush. It's just a really small, as you can see, um, detail flat shader brush. But I like brushes like these, so um, that was a nice little bonus. And then it also came with the Stila Sparkle Waterproof Liquid Lina in Rock Candy, which is just a brown with like kind of like gold and... Um, like copper shimmer in it and it's a really pretty color but I don't really like this. I've only used it a couple of times. I don't like it too much. It it's kind of watery. Like I need to, a couple of layers to get pigmentation on it. Um but the color is very pretty. Uh so that was it for the Stila set. I really just wanted kitten and puppy and the rest of that stuff was just kind of like a bonus. Kind of value pack Thing that I've gotten recently was actually a free gift with purchase from Victoria's Secret. Um, me and my mom went to Victoria's Secret and I picked out a bunch of stuff for my wedding that she got for me and we got this free gift with purchase that she gave me now. Um, it came with this such a cute bag. It's this hot pink like canvas bag with these um, sequins with these hot pink sequins and it says Victoria's Secret on it and it's huge. This is like such a great travel makeup bag. I'm so happy with this. Um, I would have been just happy with this as the gift we purchased but it came with three things inside. It has this pretty silver lining that won't get dirty too easy. It came with this Dazzle, um, this Beauty Rush Dazzle Shine lip gloss in, what is this? I don't know. I have no idea what the shade is. I can't find it. Oh, and Dazzling Citrus. This actually has a really nice scent. It is really citrusy scented, but it's super glittery. It's just chock full of glitter. Not really my thing, the glittery lips. Um, it is nicely pigmented and everything, but it was pretty sticky and, the, again, I don't want glitter all over my lips. Uh, then I got a, um, Hydrating Body Lotion in Love Spell. It's actually a pretty big size and I love the Love Spell scent and I actually don't have any right now. I've used up 
I had used up everything I had that was Love Spell scented, so that was nice to get that again. And then the last thing was my Victoria's Secret Gorgeous Fragrance Mist, which was in my favorites video because I um, absolutely love this. This was great. So I really, really love this and this that came in the set, and it was for free with the, our purchase. So I absolutely love this scent. Next time you go into Victoria's Secret, smell this. I kind of want to buy the perfume in this scent. But just check out the gorgeous scent because it's gorgeous. It just smells wonderful. Um, so that was that free little gift. The thing is I picked up the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. This stuff is amazing. It's going to be my next favorites video and I'll talk more about it. And I had gotten a tiny little sample pack of this shampoo, shampoo and conditioner and like a free uh, beauty sample Target bag that I had gotten a couple of months ago and I was waiting to use up the shampoo that I had, the Pantene, which wasn't actually really that great, but I'm just wait I was waiting to use it up and I have finished it. So I picked up the full size of the Tresemme Naturals uh, Nourishing Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. They come in these huge bottles. This will probably last me forever. I love the scent of this. I love the way it made my hair feel. My hair was super soft and shiny after I used this and it's the Naturals line from Tresemme, so it, it has lower sulfates in it and the conditioner is silicone free, but um, it's not completely without sulfates, but it is a lower sulfate um, line, which is nice because sulfates are pretty bad for your hair. But I just loved the sample pack I got of this, so I just went ahead and purchased the full size, and these are really um, affordable. So I got these. The last product I have to show have to show you is um, this Dove Gentle Exfoliating Nourishing Body Wash. Um, this was actually a gift in my Easter basket. Joe picked this up for me. We get like, you know, this kind of thing in each other's Easter basket. Um, I really love the scent of it. It's just really fresh and clean. And um, I never really buy the Dove body washes because they're a little more expensive. I usually just buy like the soft soap ones or um, the Caress ones because they're cheaper. But he got me a nice one. Um, <laughs> And you got me the big bottle, and this is actually really nice. I don't, it's, I don't know if it's exfoliating. It has like little beads in it, but it's super moisturizing and creamy, and it has a nice lather. And I love the fresh scent of this, so I um, did get this in my Easter basket, and I am enjoying it. Uh, yeah, so that is it for my haul video. I will have a spring fashion haul coming up. I purchased a lot of things to wear on my honeymoon, and then just some things to have for the summer. Um, and then some, you know, like accessory items too. So that video will be coming up soon. Uh, that'll be the next haul. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. Again, if you have any questions, comments, requests about anything, just shoot me a comment down below and I will get back to you. And everybody have a really great day. Bye.